Hey guys, so this is the Briggs & Stratton 300 series uh, engine that came off the mower that I featured in yesterday's video. And uh, let's just tear it apart, see exactly what went wrong and uh, just how bad the carnage is. Here we are. We'll start with this. There's a lot of metal in there. Lots of fine, shiny flecks of, of metal. Right, let's have a look in here without spilling any more oil. So just so we can see clearly, I've given the block a bit of a wash out because when it's covered in oil, you just can't see anything. So I can't tell if that governor arm is meant to be like that or it's actually bent. Don't see. I don't know. You, yeah, you let me know. It's certainly an interesting S shape. And then we have impact damage up here. It's also chipped. Uh, look there. So that's chipped. That looks like it's had a whole heap of metal just get ripped off there. Damage in there and there. That's another piece of impact damage there. And we have some more chipping damage in there. The journal here, that journal is absolutely wrecked. Absolutely wrecked, horrendous. The actual cylinder walls itself. I mean, there's some Visible marks, but I can't feel them. I think if you were to pop a hone in there, it would actually clean it out. Um, but of course we have, well, yeah, we have damage in there. So uh, I'm not too sure how far the piston goes down. I can't really differentiate the wear here because it is all a bit scuffed. It's probably at that point there, but not horrendous. Honestly, not horrendous. And now a close up of the camshaft that's been cleaned. I don't know how this little decomp, this automatic compression release works. Um, at the moment, it's not worth working, obviously. I don't know if it's missing a part. I haven't taken one of these machines apart before, so it's the first time I've seen this. So I feel like it's missing something. Let's have a really close look up at the cam. There is a bit of metal transfer there. And that is probably what's caused the swirling pattern on one of the tappets, I'll show you in a minute. There's a closer look of the automatic compression release. It's obviously broken there. There's a spring on there that's not working how it should be. So let us know, I have to have a look at a photo, but I've been unable to get a clear photo of this so far. Next, cam lobe, again, metal. Uh, there is wear there, but doesn't look hugely excessive. It's so hard to tell without actually having something to compare it to. Uh, so that's, that's that. And then we have what looks like something has spun. It's almost like these cams have, well, it's actually, it's, like, it's had a big gouge out of there too. Uh, so has the gear spun or has the cam spun? So I just used some mole grips and actually it is, it's that gear that's spun, not the cam. The cam lobe is good. And actually, if you think about it, there's a lot more contact surface between the cam lobe and the cam shaft compared to this gear. It looks like the gear's actually moved slightly as well. Um, well, yes, look, you can see if you look closely, there's like a ring, a fine ring about here. Looks like this gear has been knocked to the right about oh, a few millimeters. And that's also compressed whatever that is, which is probably, I don't know, please correct me. Please, please, please correct me. Some sort of alignment marking. I'm really, I'm really not sure. Now we'll have a close look up at the, the piston itself. There's no orientation marks for the, the orientation of this ring, is there? I can't see anything. 
There's no dots, there's no writing. I can't tell any difference between the coating, so maybe it doesn't matter which way it goes up. Let's uh, have a real close look at the ring lens. There seems to be damage here and here, some, some light scratching. Uh, where does it get tight? Here, it starts to get tight here. Why is the question? Why is it getting tight in that spot? And then loose there. I'm not sure. It's loose all the way around except that. Almost looks like something's impacted it slightly here. There, there's a mark. Could that have closed it up? I guess if I... Yeah, hard to tell. Skirt. The skirt of the piston. It's not bad, really. It's just a bit of wear, to be honest. More than anything, it's just a bit of wear. Lack of oil, obviously, but just, yeah. We do have something going on here. Damage here and here, and we have damage on there, there, and there. Okay, is the cushion pin damaged in terms of bent? Doesn't look it. No. Doesn't look like there's uh, any damage to that at all. Looks fine. Small end. Looks fine. Have a look at this. It's just so porous. It's such low quality. And, and it's not surprising that it's let go. It's so badly made. These, these uh, E-Series are terrible they really are there is zero quality they're as light as anything this would not have happened to any of their older brigs it's uh it really is just uh yeah it's, it's it's an embarrassment to be completely honest with you but then again keep them full of oil they'll they'll, they'll run so i don't know a bit of two minds on that one all right let's get this connecting rod in place so we have that bit we have that bit that and that connect together. Like that, or is it the other way? Is it that way? Yeah, that's the way, yep. So that goes like that. And we have the other side, like that. We have one more piece, which goes in there. And that goes in there like that. Again, this would not happen on a, a well-made piece of... Look how poor this casting is. It's so porous. It's terrible. And then we just have the two tappets. Now, there is mark or markings on one, which is here, and not on the other. And I think that's literally just because of some of the metal it's picked up and it's it's just created that... that circular pattern however i can barely feel anything you can see there's some wear very centrally on that here that there i can feel so i put my finger over it i just feel a little bit of a nub but um we don't seem to have taken the brunt of anything well that one hasn't and that one looks absolutely fine there's no nub and there's no damage on it. So that's that. And then the other side, the case half. Anything to report? Nothing. 
nothing there. No damage that I can see. Even this uh, journal there, there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's not damaged. And then, of course, we have the crankshaft. Uh, this is just starting to flash rust because I've just washed it. I should probably give it a spray with some more. But honestly, I, the chances of me ever using this, basically zero. I'll just chuck it in a vapor rust. Um, so, again, the main journal of the, the uh, crankshaft. It's got a lot of transfer. That would clean up, I'm sure of it. And then this has got a lot of transfer too. Which is the upper side, which is not that surprising. It's not going to get as much lubrication out there like that. Whereas this lower side will. This uh, cam gear. Looks absolutely fine. Yeah. Well, that's it. That is the destruction and damage caused by no lubricant. So I hope you enjoyed it. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if I'm wrong. You know, is it fair to uh, criticize Briggs on this E-Series? Would this have happened on a lesser, uh, on a, a higher quality machine? Or not even higher quality. Those classics, um, you know, they would, they would, I don't think that they would let go in this sort of catastrophic manner. I think this is just cheap fabrication, cheap parts that, uh, that uh, have just let go. Yeah, actually there's a big gouge out there. No, that wouldn't be able to be reused. Look at that. Big gouge. So there we go. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's always exciting to see what's happened. And I'll catch you on the next one.